Hey, what's up, my dokus? Jason here, bringing you back to more. He's a lacrimosa of Donna. Last time? Well, we originally planned on going through the Octus Overlook, but uh, I got a little ahead of myself. So we went around the village, took care of a lot of approval, maxing out with different gifts. And even then, have I still given out all my gifts that I have? Yeah, I have. Interesting. And with it, a lot of a lot of heart to hearts have opened up. But not only that, we have a lot of quests to take care of because I had to take care of a raid before the quests showed up. And this time, we're going to be taking on said quests. Let's start with Hummels. Allow me to explain. Hummel, how can come we got a request from a pterosaur? Remember when we delivered that pterosaur egg to its nest? You helped me, so you should remember. Well, that pterosaur needs our help again. A request from a primordial? Even by this island's standards of normality, this is absurd. I'm not even sure what to say about this. Even primordials come to you for help. You're amazing, Hummel. Anyway, this request is a little complicated, so I would really appreciate it. You appreciate your assistance. Yes, complicated. Apparently that egg has been stolen by another primordial. We've been asked to recover the egg. What? Uh, don't you think it's a little late for that? That egg's probably been eaten by now. Actually, we still have time. I was told the egg was placed in a nest in the Pangaea Plains. But this is too dangerous. Even if we manage to find the nest, the egg has m more than likely been... But how will risked his life to deliver that egg? If there's still a hope of saving it, then I want to help. No matter how hopeless a situation it seems, I will never give up. Because I'm a professional. Lexia. I know a fair amount about Sauron's, too. Maybe we can pull our knowledge and figure out how to save that egg. But Donna, we don't have the time for these sort, this sorts of diversions. Laxia, you might as well quit while you're ahead. Once they've made up their minds, you know full well they're not going to change them. Uh, you are so... Uh, fine. Donna, let's work together and come up with a plan. Mm-hmm. Let's give it our all, Laxia. Agreed. Hummel, pl please tell us everything you can about the primordial that took the egg. Alright, let's go over the strategy again. The Pangaea Plains are heavily populated with Saurons. We'll need to search every single one of their nests to find the egg. We'll search for the egg at night, when the most prim most of the primordials are sleeping. Some species are nocturnal, though, so we'll still need to be on alert. Got it. It's safer to hit those primordials at night than try to tangle with them during the day. I bet the ones protecting their eggs are really scary when they're angry. Yes, I'm sure they are. Let's head to the campsite near the ruins of the kingdom and wait for nightfall. Understood. Thank you, Laxia and Donna. What about me? Yes, thank you too. Man, you guys risk your lives for the strangest things. <laughs> when you're as young as them, you can afford to be a little foolhardly. You guys better make sure you recover that egg. That goes without saying. Let's go, go, go! Alright, we can now conduct a night exploration. So, we need to head here. And, let's go to the camp. I don't want to cook. I want to conduct the night exploration. Alrighty, so... All 
Alright, let's begin. Once we find the pterosaur's nest, we'll check to see if it has any egg. Saurons will be near the nest as well. If they notice you, they will become violent and aggressive. Better make sure we I don't rip any loud farts then. We'll have to sneak by on tippy toes on our tippy toes. On the tippy toes of our tippy toes. Let's get to work, Al. Yeah. So... I just realized there's a lot of, like... We actually could have uh, even further exploration if I did the night... The full night, uh... Exploration of the other places too. I never realized that um, I didn't get everything there, which is okay. I'll do that off screen as well. I don't want to, you know, push any more into our story. These guys are all at level 60. They're on the high, higher levels. We need to just kind of avoid them for now. I don't want to make too much noise when they're around. I also don't want to, you know, get into too many fights. However, the AI is very diligent in wanting to get involved. Where are we wanting to go? So we have three places to check. This is an area we have already been to. Gonna want to stay out of that thing's way. Uh, let's check over here. Oh, we got a chest actually. Yeah, we're just gonna watch try to take these things down. Oh, this is not good. They're actually getting really aggressive. This area, or there aren't any pterosaur eggs in this nest. Alright, we have three more places to check. Let's go ahead and do that. I guess they can keep preoccupied with uh, that guy. There's nothing over here. But there is something over there, so we're gonna keep going. one either, which means third time's the charm. We're just gonna make our way over through these guys, uh, and up this way. And we will hopefully find... Pterosaur egg? Yes, it looks like the one I saw previously. I'm sure of it. Oh, it didn't get eaten yet. A primordial is sleeping right next to it, so let's be care extra careful recovering it. Indeed.
You did it, Hummo. We're done here. Let's leave. Donna. Yes, I'm on it. All right, let's go. That roar just woke up all the, the other primordials. Adol, we must retreat back to the campsite at once. Oh man, run! Well, we're not gonna run, we believe in. No, we can't, we have to run, we can't. Oh no. Uh, uh, is it still chasing us? I think we lost it. Man, that thing showed up out of nowhere. Yes, it reminded me of those primordials that captured Rakota. Using that egg to lure us into an ambush. It's a good thing we devised a strategy beforehand. It's all thanks to you, Luxia, for thinking something like that might happen. But we wouldn't have been able to distract it without you, Donna. Both were amazing. As you can see, the egg is safe. Thank you, everyone. Especially you, Laxia and Donna. I couldn't have recovered this package without you. N no, you're, we're basically family at this point. Mm hmm. You're welcome. Now then, let's wait for the sun to rise before we return the egg. A great job! And I guess without even, like, having to go worry about giving it back to the uh, mother, we have completed that quest. And this leaves just one more quest to do, the Valley of Kings Mystery. And this one is a Donna quest. Oh, at all. <laughs> I was lost in thought. Don't worry. It wasn't about anything important. I see. To be honest, I was thinking about Olga. How I wasn't there for her during her final moments. At the time, I was desperately trying to save what few people remained in the world. So we didn't have as many opportunities to talk as we used to. never cease to amaze me. Traveling to the southern nations alone, all because you wanted to help the people there. How can I lose heart after hearing that? While I was researching attorney and lore, I came across a figure known as a, the Blue Bird. For some reason, looking at you reminds me of the time I spent studying it. <laughs> if uh, I'm ever in trouble, I know where I will, I will place my th faith. Excuse me. Blech. That was the last thing Olga ever said to me. I wonder what she was trying to tell me. I still think about her to this day. One thing is clear though. Olga is dead. And I don't feel sad, really. I just feel alone. <laughs> Thank you. In that case, at the time, Olga was studying the myths and lore of various locations. We might be able to find clues at the temple about what she was studying. Yes, if you're with me, I'm sure we can figure this out. Thank you, Adol. Let's go to the Temple of the Great Tree when time allows. Now we have started Best Friends Will. And with this, we need to go to the Temple of the Great Tree. Oh, it's actually in Donna's room, it looks like. The bookshelf is practically bare. Hmm, if only some books were still left, they might have been able been helpful to us. 
Oh, Donna was doing something weird there. Alright, we're gonna... Ah, uh, we can't hit up the stars. Can't have head up these stairs, though. The bookshelves are practically bare. Excuse yourselves, knockoffs. Dude, you're at, like, level 39. You're literally, like, triple or double our... Uh... Double our, uh... Freaking level lower, I guess. Like, Or we're double your level, I guess, is the better way to put it. So as you can see, all these are basically bare. However, oh, there's a li lithograph here. Maybe Olga was researching this up until the very end. Wait, this description. This is the legend of the blue bird, one of the servants of Saint Uri Uranus. The people once regarded the saint with suspicion and mistrust. They scoffed at his visions of rain and sunlit days, and famine following bountiful harvests. But in time, everyone learned that his visions were accurate. This almost sounds like it's describing you, Donna. What could this be? Or I guess, could this be? Yes, without a doubt. This must be the bird Olga was talking about. <laughs> Glad we took the time to find it then. But how? what could this mean? Hmm, we don't have enough information. Hmm, I don't really know that much about him. Oh, but maybe if we go to the Basha Tower, we'll learn something there. I'm sorry, everyone. Can you accompany me just a little longer? <laughs> of course. Let's head to Baja Tower right away. All right, off to Baja Tower. Where exactly? Obviously the highest floor. I was actually wrong. Yeah, we don't need to go to the uh, highest floor. We need to go to the lowest floor. Or not the lowest floor, but like, we need to go to basically like, mid floor, I guess. I believe what we're looking for could be found... Um, right up here? This inscription is an account of the kingdom's history. There should be a description of Saint Uranus here somewhere. wandering saint who existed during the foundation of the kingdom of Eternia. Through his teachings of compassion towards others, he was able to prevent many wars. Assisting with the con construction of Aegis, he is praised as the capital's patron saint. The sculptures seen in the stupa uh, depict the animals that accompanied him. The stupa. That's in the center of the capital, right? Y yes, but I didn't know about this story. The animals that accompanied St. Uranus? A wise bird and a blue bird. Olga, did you? <laughs> we can think about it later. Let's just head over to the stupa. Is this? N no, this belonged to Olga. Astonishing. She must have left it here. Don, can you hear me? If you're seeing this, then that means I have died. My only regret is that I have left you alone in this world. For that, I am sorry. You always were so reckless. 
I never could guess what you might do next. You probably blame yourself for my death. Do you regret anything, Donna? Learning the truth about the Great Tree? Accepting all the blame and trying to protect us? Becoming the Maiden of the Great Tree? Meeting Sarai and me? I'm sure you don't regret any of that. I don't regret it either. So, please remember, as thankful as you are to have met me, know that I am just as thankful to have met you. <laughs> I just wanted to say that before I go. It's getting noisy outside. I must be going soon. Donna, believe in yourself. Never stop moving forward. I've stored my remaining essence in here. It's the least I can do for you. Don't lose, Donna. Until we meet again. Whenever, wherever that may be. It was nice of your friend to leave that for you, Donna. Yes. After all this time, I finally received it, Olga. <laughs> I'm sorry for losing focus earlier. I haven't been able to mourn Olga since she died. Thank you, Adol, for coming with me all this day. Mm hmm. And now, Olga, you can fight by our side. Best friend's will completed. Donna's HP has been increased by 100. And not only that, but her approval's been maxed out as well. With it? Oh, I guess Donna's was a quest that we just got on our own. Huh. I thought this was a quest that we had to take on, like... I thought that was Donna's quest. I'm confused. Like... I'm definitely completely confused. So then who do we talk to? Huh. Showing forces to calm this church down. Okay, so I guess with this, we now have, well, a lot of, um, pretty sure it could be a lot of, uh, people's. Heart to hearts given to us now. Uh, Rakota, do you have anything that you want that we can give you? Or I guess anything that we can see? Because I know Rakota is like the only one of us that uh, doesn't have her approval maxed out. But, I guess with this, the only thing left to do is to see, you know, what these, all these, uh, heart-to-hearts have to offer. Because, I don't think we can accept this quest until we take a look at some of them. So, next time on Yis 8 Lacrimosa of Donna, we spend the entire time taking a look at the heart-to-hearts between us and our friends. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like, troops at a ton. Make sure to subscribe to Dibbly Dibbly if you have not already. And I will see you guys all later. <laughs>